What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? We're back here with a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video here, man. So, yeah, man, you guys know for Global, you guys are going to be getting the Carnival LR Omega Shinrod. So, yes, I have made some videos in the past about this guy when he first dropped on JP. But I do just want to go over the unit itself, especially with him coming to uh, Global. So people are saying, I believe it's next reset or it could be the next day. I don't know. Not keeping up with it. Now I have listened to him here in, um, you know, English. And I think uh, Omega sounds great. Um, I don't think there's a problem with him. Still sound like, you know, the big bad boss, evil villain. But here he is. Now, as far as the animations, ain't none. You know, they don't change these from JP or anything. The only thing that's changed is just the voice, of course. Cause you know jp has jp voices and of course um you know global has english voices so i think the english voice for omega is great now they do already have the uh translations here i guess if you haven't already looked at his super attacks you know these are pretty already been out for months from jp but if you want to just see him in english and see how he sounds in his intro and uh like active skill you know you can go and look at this video now the translation is already here, but I'm just going to go to the wiki because I don't really care about the switching pictures condensed way. I like the wiki because it's just right there and I don't have to switch the picture. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here we are with your boy LR Omega Shinron here. As you guys see, man, he is a 200% GT bosses lead. Now, we already talked about this before where GT bosses it's you know not a good tag and you know they are struggling but of course if you just want to have uh you know the best gt bosses lead uh this is who you're going to need to have now coming with omega himself just as a solo unit um he is a great unit he has a revive he's raising his defense he's greatly raising his defense for one turn as well um you know on the uh, ultra super attack and then um, you see his active skills. He greatly uh, raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to the enemy, and lowers attack and defense by 30% for one turn. And he disables his enemy actions once. But on his on his um, regular super, he has a high chance to stun. And on his ultra super attack, he can also seal, lower attack, and defense. So when it comes to GT, um, they've always been prevalent on debuffs. But of course, with a lot of different content, a lot of uh, enemies can't be debuffed. So when it comes to like, I believe, you know, SBR or some other type of stages, you know, where, uh, you know, enemies can be debuffs. GT don't have a problem with them. But when it comes to people who are not susceptible to debuff, they can easily be killed. So, you know, keep that in mind. So him as a standalone unit, not a problem. He is very good. Now, the problem is, like I said, he is restricted to GT bosses where he is the glue to that. But, um, you know, he does have his own other categories. Now, a lot of these categories are not really geared for him. And we're going to go over those. So, links, we just have Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, GT, Fear and Faith, Shadow Dragons, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. You know, not bad. Just have Big Bad Bosses really helps him out. But if he can't really be paired with other Big Bad Bosses characters, that's what creates the problem. So here we are the categories. We have uh, Shadow Dragon Saga, uh, Full Power, uh, Transformation Boost, Inhuman Deeds, uh, Power Absorption, Powerful Comeback, GT Bosses, and Battle of Fate. Now, when it comes to something like Full Power, I would say that tag is not really for a lot of extreme units. It's only mainly for super units where you have like full power Goku's and full power other units. And, you know, they can run together in there. And um, he can only probably be ran in some scenarios with maybe freezes, but they don't really, you know, link up like that. They don't have the similar links. And that's what's going to create a problem. The transformation boost, he's not going to run him on there either. You can get away with running him on Inhuman Deeds, perhaps. Uh, power absorption, no. Powerful comeback. Maybe depends. GT boss, he's the lead for that. So that's the main team he's going to be on. And Battle of Fake, no, because he's not going to link with anybody. So he has linking problems with every tag except Shadow Dragon Saga and GT bosses, which all need help. So him as a standalone unit, like I said, very good. 
He's not the problem. He needs a team. Get all this stuff you do on the side, man. Revive, stun, raise the defense, raise the attack, Lord. Man. He has an entrance. You know, he got some other stuff going on in this kit. I didn't read here in the passive, but this is a lot of stuff going on in here. I just didn't want to bore y'all with the same jargon of, you know, Omega kit word for word. But he, he's doing a lot, and he's he is pretty good. Now, let's go to his team, and this is the main issue. GG bosses. Now, I know, I don't know if this is updated or it, it is. They just gave us this free um, sell and freezer. They're not good on JP. So they're not to solve. They're not going to solve the problem. This LR Super 17, he's trash. He's not good at all. Now, some people are talking about um, the AGL real though. Those easy A's support easy A's. Um, I don't see that as a big W or anything. It's that's just whatever. Now, free to play. This free to play LR Omega. Or send Shinron, it's not good. Of course, you would link him with some of them, but these people are very bad. Ice and Nova, if they were good, like let's say, like a good, great G GT bosses support unit, like they were doing a lot of things for GT bosses, that would be great. But Ice and Nova are trash. I don't know what they were doing when they designed Ice and Nova, but they are pure garbage. I do have the rainbow in my account, but it is what it is now. Omega. I do have them on my account as well. I think I have one dupe of mine. So I do have the unit and I have used this unit a lot. Baby, he's a great unit. He got an easy A. I really like Baby. Baby hits hard. And um, he is, I would say, the, probably the best person with Omega on, on GT bosses. Now, coming up to, you know, uh, you know, URs. Um, this Super 17 is decent. But he's old in age. Now, he can get ramped up a little bit with reduction, but it doesn't do much. The Dokkan Fest, you know, strength, Super 17 is here. That You know, they change to Super 17. They're okay, but they're really lacking in defense, especially doing that. I know you can get a bunch of super attacks with them, I would say. But I would say you, you want to give them some dodge because they're going to need to get up out of there. But it's mainly doing like double, triple um, attacks. They can do that, but they transformation condition is bad. I wish it was lower. I would say maybe turn three or something like that where they can um, transform to Super 17. It is sometimes it's too late and, you know, you're going to get killed on harder content. Easier content, like I said, is, is, is a breeze. But as you see, man, far in between here, we're already going to the SSRs. Look how short this list is. Like I said, Oceanus, she wasn't good. It's easy A. And like I said, everything else is pretty old here. So hopefully in 2024, we do get some better um, units for GT bosses. That's the only thing I would say. But if you plan on using Omega on some other teams that he may be a part of, I would suggest you to probably do that. But if you just want to challenge yourself and use him on GT bosses and have the best GT bosses team, he's the guy that you're going to need. Now, I did also bring up the banner here. This is another issue that you may have a problem with. So, of course, here with the banner, you do have Omega himself, but you do have the Carnival Goku from the uh, Cooler movie. He's okay, but he's a support, so I wouldn't you know, harp on him too much. Uh, Future Gohan and Trunks, the LR, they're not good at all. They're not, they're not that great. Now, you do have a revive, granted, but you have other better revive characters that have already been released. So, you're not going to be using them. Just for their revive. So not going to cut it. I just went over uh, Nova and Ice. Very bad here on the banner. You do have regular Nova. You do have regular Sinchin Run. Uh, the tech and physical one. So as you see man the banner is just pure garbage. I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold you on that one. Banner is trash. So if you do got some stones to throw away on global. You know you guys are not probably that close to JP. Um, you know, you do have some other things in centers. Now, I know some people on global, I would say people buy like the tickets and cause you know, we don't have that on JP, but on global, you guys have the tickets. So if you are a spender, I would say, um, just buy the tickets, use the tickets, see what you can get. If you can't get them then, you know, save your stones. I would say until, you know, maybe it's a character that you really want, but if you really, really love Omega and you go on the summon. Um, I wish you, you know, the best of luck and hopefully you get him, you know, first multi or something like that, because I don't want anybody, um, you know, going very deep just for this unit, especially not getting a lot of use out of them. Of course, you see at the bottom, these are just 
off banner. So these are a lot of yellow coin units. And you guys already know yellow coins or whatever. Now though we just get recently got some great uh yellow coin easy A's and you know the Goku Black, the uh Super Saiyan 3 Dragon Fist Goku. We just gotta update him for on NJP. But some of you may already have those units. These other yellow coin unit dupes are not going to do anything for your account. So even the Androids, they were very good, easy as well. So who knows? If you end up getting a Boma from this, I would say that's a W, you know what I'm saying? Because Boma is Boma. But if you have a rainbow, you know, that'll probably be useless for you. But yeah, man, um, there are some other units that are going to be coming out the Omega. Maybe you may want them more than you want Omega. So you guys know we got LR Ribrian. You guys haven't got yet on Global. Uh, you have the androids from the Terminator Power 17 and 18. Um, so, like I said, Rebian, androids. You guys just got Super Trunks. Hopefully, you guys skipped him. He was, uh, Omega was in that pool as well. And whoever else. But, uh, yeah, man. You may want more of the other. I would say a lot of people may like Omega because he's, you know, OG Dragon Ball guy. So, it is what it is. But um, wish you guys the best of luck. Save. You guys should be seeing soon uh, once the um, JP anniversary comes out. Who the ninth year anniversary unit is going to be. And trust me, I believe you're going to need to have some stones for the ninth year anniversary. So for a lot of people, you don't need to summon on him. He will come back and you can get him then. So like, comment, subscribe, man. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.